what makes sun shine when you are looking at the sun you can see it shining in the sky what would make the sun shine and sun gives off enormous amounts of thermal and light energy huge amounts of thermal and light energy why because inside the sun in the core of the sun uh, there are powerful reactions powerful reactions happen inside the sun okay powerful reactions happen inside the core of the sun this will make the sun shiny okay sun has two main components to make the sun shine what are they hydrogen and helium excellent the sun has two main components hydrogen and helium this will make the, they will make fusion reaction inside the sun core and they, they are the source or this kind of reaction this is the source of sun energy okay how deep inside the core of the sun the the hydrogen atoms they have very high temperature and kinetic energy so what will happen between hydrogen atoms what's happened between hydrogen atoms their nuclei they will fuse together when they collide they will fuse together and they will combine to form a new nucleus called uh, for a new element called helium okay when this reaction happens huge amount of energy uh, are released this will make the sun shine only this reaction happen in the core of the sun why because it needs very high temperature so it's happening only inside the sun it's called fusion reaction okay stars bright uh, brightness when you are looking at the stars, uh, you can see some stars are brighter than the others. What will make some stars look bright? Three things. What are they? Star size, stars temperature, stars distance from Earth. Size, temperature, distance from Earth. Okay, the bright star that will give off the most energy. If the stars give off the most energy, will be the brightest star. Okay. Let's take some examples for stars according to their brightness and their distance from Earth. Sun. Sun is the closest star to the Earth. So you can see it from Earth. This is the closest one and the brightest one. Okay. So this will, that, uh, because you see, can see it from the Earth, the brightest one, the, this will make the sun the brightest star forever? No. You see it brightest star in the sky because it's the closest star to Earth. Okay, let's take another one. Bernard store. This will be the third closest store to Earth. You can see it by using telescope. It's called Bernard store. Sirius store or dazzling, dazzling, sparkling, shining, white store. This is the brightest store in the night sky. The brightest. Okay. Uh, why? You, why? Why we cannot see it? You would know. Uh, it's larger and hotter and more than 20 times as bright as the sun. Okay, look at look at its size compared to the sun. Look, it's larger and hotter and more than 20 times as bright as the sun. So why it doesn't look brighter to us? Because it's much farther from us. It's away from us at the ninth closest star to Earth. Okay, so we see the sun, the brightest one, because this is very far away. Okay. Stars color and temperature. Stars color tells tells you how hot it is. What will tell you how hot the star is? Its color. Number one, red stars. Red stars, they are the coolest stars. They are the coolest stars. It doesn't mean that it's cold. You can touch it. No. It's coolest compared to them, the other types. Okay, it's a temperature 2,250 degrees Celsius. Okay, example for it, Bernard star. Bernard star, it's a red star and it's a temperature, it's very hot, very hot, 2000. In the, can you imagine 2250? They tell you that if you bring a piece of iron and a small piece of iron and put it in this temperature, it will melt and boil to become a gas. Imagine the, the iron would boil. Okay, so number one, red star, this is the coolest one. It means it's the, the least one from the other types okay the, number two orange to yellow like the sun they are hot somewhat hotter than uh, the the red stores 
like the sun, its temperature is about 5,500 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is temperature from, from outside. Inside the sun, inside the stars will be more. Okay. The third one, white to blue white stars. White to blue white stars, they are the hottest stars and starting from 12 degree, uh, degrees, uh, 12,000 degrees Celsius and more. Okay, they are white to blue white stars. Okay. The explosive sun. Sun is a fiery ball of hot gases. We said but sun is a fiery ball of hot gases. It doesn't have any hard surface, only gases. And it has layers. There are six, but in grade five, you will take only three. The first one from outside, corona, uh, not coronavirus, it's corona layer from outside. The outermost layer, it's called corona. Okay. Number two, chromosphere. Chromosphere, this is the layer above photosphere, the inner one, or below the corona layer. Number three, photosphere. This is the innermost layer of the sun's atmosphere, and it gives off the light energy we see that comes from the core. Inside here, this is the, the solar core of the sun core. The fusion reaction happened here. Okay, and this will be the photosphere, and this chromosphere, and this will be corona uh, uh, layer, okay? The new part, sun. Maybe when you are looking at the sun, you can see the sun looks calm, okay? But scientists, by using telescopes, they saw a lot of activity, okay? They are uh, they giving off light and so on, okay? So they discover something called sunspots, sunspots. There, there, there was a scientist called Galileo, the one who, uh, for the first one who used telescope to discover the space, Galileo, notice that there are dark spots moving along the face of the sun. And uh, he concluded that the sun must be rotating because these dark spots, uh, this picture, moving along the face of the sun, so, so the, the, uh, the, the sun must be rotating like this. Or what will make the dark spots move? Okay, so Galileo, the scientists notice that dark spots move along the face of the sun. This indicates what the sun must be rotating. Okay. Sunspot cycle. These dark spots are part from the, uh, the photosphere, the innermost layer. These dark spots are part of the photosphere, the innermost layer. But why they look dark? Why? Because they are not as hot as the rest of photosphere. They are not hot at the other parts of the photosphere. Okay, so they look dark. Okay, and their number changes in cycles of 11 years, means it, its number change increase and reach the most, the maximum in, in the 11th year, and then start again after 11th year again. Okay, and complete 11 years and so on. Okay. So the number changed in cycles of 11 years. Sometimes there are many, sometimes they are few when they will complete or reach the maximum in the 11th year, okay? Uh, they took picture here, this is 1996 and increase in 1998 and then increase in 2000, okay? This is the maximum and this is the minimum. Solar eruptions, two phenomena happen here. Uh, two eruptions linked to the sunspot cycle. What are they? Prominences and solar flares. Prominences and solar flares. If you are looking at this picture, you will know the difference between the two. Solar flares and prominences. Solar flare and prominence. I will tell you the difference. Prominences, they are loops of blazing gases or sp sparkling gas, shining gas, they are loops, make loops that leap out from the chromosphere reaching the corona from outside, okay? And it can last from days to months. Look, it take this shape, loops, okay? And can last from days to months. What about solar flares? They are bright areas, look at this picture, bright areas on the sun's chromosphere when part of it erupt like volcano. Look, it erupts like a volcano and it can last from minutes to hours. 
So can you see the difference here? The loops, they are tobinenses and they stay day, from days to month. But uh, uh, bright areas, bright areas here on the sun's chromosphere, when part of it erupt like a volcano, this will be solar flares and can last from minutes to hours, okay? So two uh, solar eruptions, prominences and solar flares. One, it's a shape like the loops, loops of blazing gases, okay? And can last from days to month. This will be prominences. And one as uh, bright areas uh, on the sun's chromosphere, when parts of it erupt like a volcano and can last from minutes to hours, this will be solar flares, okay? Scientists measure the distance the light travels in one year and call it light year. So what is a light year? The distance light travels in one year. The distance light travels in one year. So what the meaning of light year again? The distance light travels in one year. The light travels uh, through the space. In one year, they measure the, this distance by using uh, special devices, of course, and to measure this distance and call it light year. Uh, can you imagine that the distance from the sun to earth in one year, the light travel, travels in one year, nine, uh, 9 9.5 trillion kilometers, okay? So light year, the distance, light travels in one year. Now you will take the life of stars, the life of stars. You will take three things, nebula, uh, supernova, black holes. Nebula, supernova, black hole. First, we'll talk about nebula. Nebula means what is a cloud of a gas and dust. Cloud of a gas and dust found in the space. Okay, look at these pictures. Found in the space. Cloud of a gas and dust found in the galaxy, in the space. Okay, stars are formed here in the nebula. So, so when I ask you how or where stars are formed in the nebula, what is the meaning of nebula? A cloud of the gas and dust. Here, the stars are formed. Here, the stars are formed in the nebula. How stars are formed. Look at this picture. What's happened in the nebula? The gravity will pull the particles into a ball, will make a ball, and will pull the particles by the gravity, the gravity will pull these particles into this ball, okay? And the gravity inside the ball will increase, let more and more particles, look at the other picture also, here, let more and more particles get inside the ball, okay? The gravity, let the gravity increase and let more particles uh, pulled in the ball, in the same time, the temperature increase, okay? So the gravity, increases in the ball, let more, this ball in the nebula, okay? And how it's made by gravity. Gravity pull the particles and make a, a shape like a ball and uh, the gravity increases inside the ball, let more and more particles get inside, okay? Pulled in this ball. At the same time, the temperature increases. When it will reach, when it will reach very high temperature, when it will reach very high uh, temperature, what happened? The hydrogen, atoms will change into helium the hydrogen atoms will change into helium i told you because if the uh, the hydrogen atoms have very high temperature and very kinetic energy they will fuse together and make helium okay during this uh, uh, process during this reaction uh, um, huge amount of energy uh, are released okay can you see here form a ball and the gravity let more particles are pulled in here. Can you see in this picture? Okay, and the, uh, when the temperature increase, it will let the hydrogen atoms combine together and release a, a, a huge amounts of energy, okay? More particles added and temperature increase, the massive, massive means huge, the massive and dense groups of particles will become a star. Now it will become a star. Okay, so how stars are formed? First, formed in the nebula. Nebula means a cloud of a gas and dust. The gravity in the nebula will pull the particles into a ball. Okay, the gravity increase in the balls let more particles get inside. 
okay? During this process, the temperature increase, let the hydrogen atoms fuse together and make helium and release very uh, huge amounts of energy, okay? These groups of particles will make the storm, okay? Then we will take how stars will die. First, stars live for a long time. Stars live for a long time, but eventually die. Okay, when when it will die, when it uses up its fuel, fuel it has fuel, yes, the hydrogen and helium atoms. Okay, stars lives for a long time and eventually die when it uses up its fuel, the hydrogen and helium that found in its core. Okay, and it takes billions of years to finish it. It takes billions of years. Okay, I will give you some kinds. Uh, we have two kinds. Uh, for the dying of stars. Stars die in different ways depending on their mass. The first one will take sun and low mass stars because we have giant and super giant stars. We'll start with sun and low mass stars. Sun, I will show you the picture first. Sun. Sun and other stars, when they use up, they use up their fuel, what will happen? They will become several times brighter and expand, will become bigger. Look at this picture. Sun, sun here, after billions of years, not now, of course. After billions of years, what will happen when they will finish? Uh, when it will finish, it's a fuel, it's hydrogen and helium gas, what will happen? Okay, it will become several times brighter and it, it, it will expand and become like this shape. It's now it will become red giant star. Why it's red? Why? Because its temperature will slightly be cooler. Now it's a temperature decrease and become cooler. So it will be red giant star. So sun will, uh, will become red giant star. And then what will happen? Because they use up the, the, the helium and the hydrogen, okay, what will happen inside the core? They use up the helium and hydrogen inside the core. The core now will shrink, shrink, become smaller, shrink to become about the size of Earth, okay? And what about the layers outside that, that you see here, the layers outside here of the sun? What happened to them? The remaining layer of gas will float into the space at this picture. Okay, look what happened here, the cores. The core will shrink, shrink, become smaller as the, the earth size, and the, uh, the other layers will expand, will float into the space, okay? And now the core will become white dwarf. White dwarf. This dwarf means very small object. It will become white dwarf, okay? After millions of years, after millions of years, the white dwarf will change into black dwarf. It will cool down and become cold object. It's called black dwarf, but it's never be seen till now. Okay, it, it happens after billions of years. So how stars are uh, how stars die when they use up their fuel, the hydrogen and helium gas inside the core. Okay, we have two groups: sun and low mass stars. First. Uh, we'll let's talk about the sun. Sun, first it will become several times brighter and expand and its temperature decrease, slightly decrease, so it will become red giant stars, okay? And then what will happen? Because they finish their fuel inside the core, so it will shrink. When it will shrink, it will become uh, as the size of the earth. The outer layers, it will, uh, the outer layers of uh, the gas, of the, the sun will float into the space and the core uh, will become white dwarf, white dwarf star, very small, this part here, in the middle here, okay? And these layers will float into the space, okay? And this white dwarf, after billions of years, will change into the black dwarf cold object, okay? This is the first group. Look at this picture. Look what happened here. The sun, after billions of years, now it will become here. When it will become bigger, it will become red giant star here. Yes. It can take uh, reach the orbit of Mars. 
okay and then the core will shrink and these layers of gas will spread or will flood into the space okay number two massive stores massive the huge stores what's happened to them the huge stores look at this is the sun and this is cyrus uh, Sirius, sorry, Sirius store, and they are uh, um, giant and super giant stores, the, or you can say massive stores. What can we, uh, what can happen to them? Explosion reaction happen here, explosion, and this explosion called supernova, supernova, okay, supernova, okay, so what the meaning of supernova? The explosion that happened to the massive stores. Look at this picture. When the fuel inside the massive stores is used up finish in the core it starts to shrink okay it will shrink 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 till it cannot shrink anymore okay then what will happen powerful waves these are the powerful waves here powerful waves uh, from sudden stop because the reaction stop and word from it like this okay and then gigantic explosion happens gigantic explosion huge explosion happen it's called supernova okay and in millions or uh, billions of time as bright as the stars even was okay when the explosion happened it will give off light more than by one billions times as the star gives off light before okay so the light or the energy that come from this explosion will be more than the the stars that gives off before this is called supernova. It happened to it happens to the massive stars. Okay, this explosion is called supernova. Look at this cycle here, and then I will tell you what will happen. This one here for the sun, here the nebula, the sun's uh, sun is formed here, the, and other stars like the sun formed here, and then. Uh, get bigger red giant store and then get smaller and the layers will spread out into the space and become white dwarf that will become after billions of years will become a uh, black dwarf massive stores here massive stores here first uh, it will it will shrink it will shrink first and then uh, powerful waves will form from sudden stop uh, uh, to the, the the reaction that happened inside and gigantic explosion happened called supernova okay and this called supernova the explosion that happened and two things will happen the massive stars can be maybe neutron star or black hole maybe neutron star or black or black hole according to what i told you here uh, giant and super giant stars the giant stars will change into neutron store, will change into neutron store here, this one. And the very big, the very big stores will become here black, will form black hole. How? First, for the black hole, the gravity of the core of the super giant stores will keep causing it to shrink, 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 and then form a black hole. So two things happen to the massive stores. Two things happen to the massive stores, okay? Eventually, some of them uh, become neutron store and some of them become black hole according to what their size, okay? The giant stores eventually end in neutron stores, ball of neutrons combined together or stick together form a neutron store. If they are big enough, super giant stores, the, the core, its gravity still keep it shrink, shrink more and more, and then it will form black hole. Then black hole. What's the meaning of black hole? Black hole is a point in the space, is a point in the space that has such a strong force of gravity, is a point in the space that has such strong force of gravity that can pull everything. This black hole can pull everything at a certain distance from it. Okay, black hole is a point in the space that has so, uh, um, strong force of gravity that can pull everything at a certain distance from it. Look at this picture. I uh, 
bring it all of the, uh, all the 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 sizes the stars like the sun here well, eventually when they will die they will become white dwarf and then after billions of years become black dwarf here uh, stars that are bigger than the sun but they are giant stars not very big not massive like others it will become neutron stars will become neutron stars ball of neutrons okay and the massive super giant stars the massive stars eventually become black holes why because the their the core the gravity of the core is still keeping it to shrink and then it will become a black hole okay that will uh, that has uh, uh, gravity strong force of gravity that can pull everything at a certain distance okay and we finish this lesson girls are you still with me yeah. Yeah. Teacher. Teacher, I want yeah. to ask yes teacher okay one by one because we have only five minutes this is the question for the, who want to ask a question? Who want to ask a question? Me. Who said me? Say your name. Remes. Remes. Okay, what is your question? About what, Remes? What's the word? I can't hear you. Okay, I will bring it. This one here. I told you the sun first. It will it will expand first. The sun will expand first and become uh, several times brighter. Will become brighter more than the sun, it will bright, become brighter and expand and become red giant star. And then what will happen? It can be, uh, uh, after this, what will happen? Because they finish the fuel inside its core, the core will shrink. It will shrink, shrink, become smaller, 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 and reach the size of Earth. What about other layers, corona and so on? What about other layers? They will spread or uh, spread into the space, like this one here. It will spread into the space. So this, when it will spread into the space, I will show you the picture here. Spread into the space, the remaining part in the middle here, this is called white dwarf. Dwarf means a very small object. So it will become white dwarf. After billions of years, it become cold object, this is called the black dwarf. Okay. Did you understand it now? Yeah. Your voice is so far away. Another question? No. Any girl want any question? Shall I will send this video. You can and I will send other videos. Please listen to them. Uh, you will enjoy them. Any question? I'm waiting for you. Any question? No. No. I, I hear another one said with Rimes. She wants a question. Who? Ragat. Ragat? Where are you, Ragat? She is muted. Ragat. Ragat, you want to ask a question? Okay. Uh, the two minutes and it will finish. Inshallah, tomorrow I will start listen to. I wrote in the weekly plan, I will make revision on uh, chapter 13, but inshallah, I will uh, leave it till we finish. So uh, tomorrow and after tomorrow, inshallah, lesson three. Okay, girls? Okay. If you, if you need, if you listen to the video and you, need, you want to ask about any questions, uh, send it to me, send them to me on the WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Goodbye for now, girls. Goodbye. Teacher? Yes, I'm still with you. Ragad, you are raising your hand. Can you talk, please? He's muted. Muted? But I unmute all. Yes. Yes, yeah, teacher. but she muted herself. Ragad, welcome.
Look, you close your mic. Teacher. Jana Amr, you raise your hand. Yeah, teacher, I want to ask you a question. Okay, you can ask a question about yeah, any me part. too. In the workbook, there's uh, in the workbook, uh, there's written that the the earth have three layers that they are photosphere, chromos chromosphere, earth? and chromosphere. Earth. Uh, can I? Yeah. And you will say what is your answer? You said they are six. Uh, sun or earth? I mean sun, teacher. You have to, because you took it here now in grade five, you can say yes because you are in grade five. You have to take you have to take only three layers. Okay, inshallah, when you go to the grade six and seven, you will take the other layers. But now you took them three. So I should write uh, so that it's right, true. Yes, right, right, true, right, true. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome, teacher. Ragat. Yeah, teacher. Yes. What's your question? Stars go in a life cycle? Yes, stars go in the life cycle. Very long life cycle. It lives very long life and then it will die and it will form again in the nebula and so on. I have two more questions. Okay, I'm with you. I hope we have only one minute. Can you quickly say the questions? I have the brightest are also the closest. You tell me, the brightest one will be the closest? Teacher, who are in now? Uh, no. What? No. Who are in now? Listen to me. Stars that appear brightest are also the closest. You can say what.